Hey, Daisy. I want to talk to you, so you better not be too busy. Was that your younger brother that was at the house just now? Hi, Charles. Yes, it was Max who was at home today. I suppose this was the first time you had both met. What did you talk about with him? Well, I did want to say something about Max. Is he at home all the time because he doesn't know what to do with his life or something? Huh? What do you mean? Do you think he's shutting himself off from society or something? Is that the impression you got? Okay, I'll try to put this into a plain and simple terms so you can understand. So, the way he spoke in general was just kind of awkward, you know? He didn't hang around for long because after saying hello, he quickly went back into his room, which I thought was odd. And his hair is super long and overall looked unkempt. I don't think a guy should look like that. He needs to look neat and tidy. Please tell your brother that he needs a haircut or something. Just so he looks good when company comes over to the house. Is your brother like a shut-in or something? He seems to come off that way to me and it just makes me feel weird and uncomfortable. Pardon me, you think that Max is a shut-in? I suppose he kind of is, but he doesn't laze around all day. It's true that he works from home, so that means he stays home most of the time. I guess he's a little bit in his own bubble, but it's okay. He's working from home? That's another scary sign that he's obviously not doing much for society. You know that the word stay at home is an excuse to be a shut-in, right? Excuse me? Didn't I just say that he works at home? He actually works really hard, so he doesn't have a lot of time to go out and do things, okay? If you're a man and you want to work and be successful, you have to go out and find work and actually earn money by doing it on your own. People who stay at home and play on their computers all day don't count as working adults. It's just not right to throw them under that label. If you're an unemployed man who stays at home all the time, then you're shut in. <laughs> There's not much more I can say to that. Okay, just hold on a minute. What's gotten into you? Why are you being so against people working from home? What's my brother ever done to you? It's like your attitude has suddenly changed just because you met my younger brother. I just really dislike people who don't work hard and keep themselves shut in their bedrooms. It's filthy and disgusting behavior, and a grown man should know better. I've been standing on my own two feet for a while now, and I've continued to work hard. I've built a high-leveled career for myself. I don't want to have people in my family who are just sitting around having fun and not working hard. It makes them look like a spoiled brat. Okay, but do you know that Max isn't like that at all? He's not spoiled and he hardly just sits around all day, he works too. It's true that he's kind of awkward, but he's just got a naturally shy personality and so he's not great when it comes to meeting new people. He may look untidy and his room may not be super organized, but he works fine and he's got a good job right now. Okay, well, I think you're lying to me to cover for your brother. <laughs> There's no way a person like that can work properly. Don't be so blind to this, Daisy. You were just hiding your brother's existence from me, weren't you? You feel embarrassed that this is what he's like. You think I was hiding him? Are you kidding me? I'd never do that to my younger brother. I've got no reason to hide him from you. Then why haven't I met him until now? Why did it take so long to organize? Is it because you thought that it was wrong and that he needed to not look so shaggy? What? No, that's not it at all. He hasn't been around because of his job, and I wanted to introduce you to him at a time where you'd both be free and available. Oh, really? 
You think that I'm going to believe what you just said, Daisy? <laughs> You're funny. Is staying in your bedroom all day the same as being away? <laughs> Do you really think that those two things are correlated? <laughs> okay, I've had enough of talking about this. Let's discuss the matter thoroughly when we both get home, alright? Then maybe we'll be able to end up on the same page about this. But I don't get why this matter needs to carry on further than it already has. All that Max does is work from home. Why don't you believe that? Hey, Daisy. I just wanted to message you to apologize for speaking to Charles for so long. I was a little taken aback by him, and I felt awkward. He didn't say anything bad about the interaction I had with him, did he? I was planning to look a little bit nicer, but I ran out of time. Max, everything is fine. Don't worry about it. You did great with Charles. I know that you're shy when it comes to meeting new people, so it's okay. Hmm. I guess you're right about that. I'm a little bit shy. I just thought I would have grown out of my shyness by now. Maybe Charles wasn't impressed by my presence and my personality. I should try and stop being so shy around people. Huh? What do you mean he wasn't impressed? He hasn't got much to judge you on since you've only just both met each other. Well, we did talk for a little bit. And I got to know him a little bit from just that first interaction. He's a nice guy, Daisy. But I feel like he's the type of guy who thinks only about himself. And not so much about other people. Especially when it comes to their views and feelings on things. I feel like he's a narcissist who doesn't care so much about others in the world. He might have ambition, but it's only so he can focus on himself. He doesn't seem to have the ability to understand other people and their situations. I don't know, it's just that feeling I got from him. Okay, I get your point, Max, but you shouldn't talk about my fiancé like that. I'm about to marry him, and I don't want bad blood between you two. Look, I'm just telling what I really thought of him when I met him. And also, what was his suit color? It was weird looking. Is that like his work uniform or something? Even the people who work for gangs wouldn't be caught wearing that color. It looked hideous. You should tell him to change up his fashion. Hey, Max, would you stop attacking my fiancé so much? That's enough of that. I've had it up to here with your crap. Now, would you please stop it? Since when have you become the judgy type? You know that once you start saying bad things about others, it's difficult to stop. Okay, I'll stop saying what I think then. So what is Charles actually like then? Can you actually... Describe his personality to me? Did he really not talk about me to you? I can read the air very well, Daisy. I was getting strange vibes from him. He surely must have said something about me, right? <sighs> okay, you're right. He started talking about you after you both met each other. He obviously doesn't have a clue what you're like, so don't take this too badly. He seems to think that you're a shut-in who does nothing but play video games all day and does nothing to contribute to society. He said that you seem super awkward and that you've got no sense for personal hygiene and your hair is a mess. He basically turned around and said that he doesn't want to be related to someone like you. He doesn't want a shut-in in the immediate family. Okay, I can understand why he got that impression. But still, can't he just say it in a more subtle manner than just complaining about it? I'm shocked to hear that someone would say something like that about me to my own sister. Wow. It just makes me feel so much worse than I normally feel. 
I'm really sorry, Max. You were right about Charles this entire time. He immediately started dissing you, and I just couldn't stand it. He has no idea about your life. On the outside, he comes off as nice and humble, but on the inside, he thinks and then says terrible things about people. I'm getting sick of it, to be honest with you. I was wondering if you had noticed this type of behavior in him before. Or would he say and do things when you weren't around so he didn't look like a terrible person? To be honest, I thought I saw a glimpse of him being this way, and I don't want it to get to the point where he explodes. It would be a really bad look. But I think I was pretending to not have noticed what he was saying about other people, especially you. Ugh, I couldn't believe what he said before. You're not a shut-in. This was my chance for me to get married, and I didn't want to waste this opportunity, but now Charles is turning out to be really horrible. I know that you've turned 30, so I understand why you're in such a hurry to get married. I get that desire, but... But I don't want you making any decisions you'll regret later. If you start to become more and more unhappy with Charles, then you're really just setting yourself up for something you can't get out of. I really think it's time for you to sort things out with this guy. You need to think about if he's seriously going to hinder you living your life or not. Yeah, you're right. I want to be happy. I don't want to be with a narcissist for the rest of my life. Thank you for talking to me, Max, especially about my worries. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about what would happen to you if he were to marry you. I can't stand having someone like him join this family. Even if he were to show a little bit more respect, I've already seen a little bit of what he's truly like. And you've also told me enough about him as well. Yeah, well, I suppose we were both right about Charles then. We've both seen more or less the same thing in him. I don't need that in my life at all. Yeah, that's very true. Oh well, I guess I'll have to rethink my investment plans now since things are about to change. Ugh, I really hate to break this to you, but it's over for us, to be honest. Ah, it's a relief to say that, but I've wasted precious time on you. Wow, I can't believe you just said my line. That's what I was going to tell you as well. I never thought until now how much of a selfish scumbag you are, Charles. What the heck, Daisy? How am I the scumbag? <laughs> You're more of the scumbag since you hid the fact that your younger brother is a shuttered and unemployed. <laughs> I did nothing but share my feelings about it with you, and you just can't handle it. <laughs> this whole relationship has been a complete and utter scam. How many times do I have to repeat myself to you, Charles? Max isn't a shut-in at all. Like, if he was, why would that matter to you? You don't understand how much of a big deal this is, Daisy. I've got a really great career as an elite banker. If I were to marry you and be associated with a relative who does nothing for our society and locks himself in his room, it would affect my career advancement. You'll be surprised at how much the people you're surrounded by affects your outcomes in life. I don't want that kind of crap hanging around me. I don't get why Max would affect your career that extremely. I don't think he would at all. Everything's okay. No, it's not okay. You've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> You're so stupid and naive sometimes, Daisy. It's hard for me to deal with. Anyway, all I wanted to say was that I'm not going to marry you now that I know more about your family members, and how lazy they are. It would be a huge joke around my office if they found out that my new brother-in-law was a shuthead and did nothing all day. <laughs> I'm an elite, and I don't need trashy relatives like your brother 
bringing me down in my field of work. I'm breaking off this engagement, Daisy. Huh? Is that what you think he'd do, Charles? You know that my brother's annual income is about four million dollars. Wait, hold on a minute. Did you just say you're telling me that your brother makes four million a year? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I never would have put you as a compulsive liar, Daisy. Even though I think you're lying, do you really think your brother would ever earn that much money from his bedroom? I'm not lying about this, Charles. I haven't lied to you this entire time during our relationship. I've got no complaints when it comes to you breaking off the engagement. It really helps that I've learned your true nature before I got too deep into the relationship with you. Your words have saved me from walking down the aisle with you. What on earth? <laughs> oh, you think that acting strong is going to get you anywhere? <laughs> you lied and hid information from me. You can't live with my elite banker skills. You can't live without the money I earn from my job. <laughs> Rather than give it up on Mary and me. Why don't you just cut ties with your little brother, since he's obviously holding you back and making you believe all sorts of lies? Excuse me? What the heck did you just say to me? You're making me so confused here. Which option do you want, Charles? Are you going to get married to me or not? Make up your mind. You're being such a pain right now. Which is it, Charles? Like I said, Daisy, I'm willing to marry you if you cut ties with your younger brother, then neither of us has to be associated with a shut-in. <laughs> now, really think about the offer I just gave you, alright? I can live comfortably alone, since I've got quite a bit of money. I can back out pretty easily. But you, not so much. Your options are very limited. Because you can't survive without me and my money. You're at the bottom of society as well, you know. How could you possibly have an advantage over me, huh? I'm working too, you know. I can live well on my own without your money or you annoying me all the time. So I'll say this one more time. I agree to break off the engagement. I I'm not complaining about it anymore. How dare you think I can't survive without you? Come on. Just be honest with me. Do you really not want to get married to me? The elite banker? I can make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. If you cut ties with your brother, we'll be able to get married with no issues at all. We'll be able to do that if you just obey me. Maybe you're just trying to trap me in your net. Are you seriously still wanting to marry me after all that we've said? Do you think you swaying me to change my mind is working, Charles? <laughs> Do you really think you're that persuasive when it comes to other people's decision-making? Excuse me? How dare you speak to me like that, you stupid woman? How dare you insult me? I was just leaving the options on the table for you. Besides, once we're over... I'm free to choose whatever woman I want to be with. <laughs> I'd be an eligible bachelor. And then all the ladies will try to swoop in and grab me. <laughs> oh, do you really think that's going to happen after you've thrown me to the curb, Charles? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You know what? I'm okay. I'll pass on your offers and I'll say no to marrying you. We're breaking off our engagement whether you like it or not. I'll file the paperwork and get the procedure underway so that I don't have to deal with you ever again. Leave it to me. Have fun looking for a new woman. Oh, all right then. I guess you've made your decision. <laughs> You're going to have to live with making the wrong decision for the rest of your natural born life, Daisy. I won't know how you deal with all of this until I find out later through the grapevine. 
You'll be kicking yourself after making this stupid decision. <laughs> Hey, this can't be true, can it? Does your younger brother actually earn four million dollars a year? This isn't real, right? When I was watching TV just now, I saw him appearing on a program about successful investors. Who is this guy, seriously? Well, I told you, didn't I? Max does, in fact, work and isn't a shut-in like you thought he was. As the TV said, Max is a really successful investor. He occasionally makes guest appearances on the business channel that shows on TV. He's also published several books about investing. Oh, um, okay. When I looked up his name, a lot of things came up about him. I couldn't believe that all of this was true. I completely misunderstood the situation. So, why don't you just change your mind about marrying me? And then we don't need to call off the engagement anymore. Are you seriously kidding me? Don't you realize how much you're embarrassing yourself by turning around and taking me back as your future wife? What's that supposed to mean? What's going on here? Everything is fine now because your brother is actually a hard worker, right? Now there's no problems with him being a part of the family, since he works hard to earn a lot of money. We'll be able to get married and not worry about shut-ins. You know what, Charles? You're so unbelievably selfish. Even though you've turned around and said it's fine to get married, I still wouldn't change my mind about calling off the engagement. Do you really think I'd take that back? You're insane, as well as full of crap. Well, it was because I thought that your younger brother was a... unemployed bum who did nothing. I couldn't help thinking that, alright? Look, I admitted that it was all a big misunderstanding. What more do you want from me? Don't you see that I'm trying to do the right thing here? I think that you should accept my proposal again. And stop being so stubborn and proud. It's actually rather annoying. Come on, Daisy. Work with me here. I don't know how you can come so far as to say that I'd take you back just because you found out the truth about my brother. Do you seriously think that I'd want to marry you now that you accept my brother? Are you crazy? Yeah, but I know that you can survive without me. You know you can do things on your own, right? If you don't be honest with yourself, I'll abandon you, and this will definitely be over. I'm sorry, but why should I say what you want to hear after the way you talked about my brother, huh? Also, don't speak for me in how I do things. I can survive perfectly fine on my own, and I don't need a selfish man like you around putting awful thoughts into my head. I'm not marrying you, and that's final. It's on you if you can't accept that. Quit pressuring me into doing something I don't want to do. Goodbye, Charles. How dare you speak to me like this? You'll not get away with that. I'm an elite, and I was planning to marry someone like you, who lives at the bottom of society. You must be very stupid to deny yourself this precious opportunity to marry someone so rich and powerful. <laughs> you're so dumb, Daisy. Wow, I can't believe you're talking to me like this again. Are you really opening up this conversation again for an argument? This is ridiculous. Your younger brother may be a famous and successful investor, but it must be tough to be the unsuccessful older sister. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> wow, and I thought you couldn't sink any lower, Charles. What a terrible thing to say. Do you hate this that much that it's hurting your pride? Shut up, you stupid woman. Don't even think about trying to attack me. You're the one that lied and hid things about your family. I won't forgive you for this. 
You've made a fool out of me. I'll definitely get my revenge for this. You better watch your back, Daisy. I'm coming for you and your younger brother. You lower class imbecile. You've got no choice but to listen to what us upper class have to say. You'll not get away with messing with me. Watch yourself. I'm going to stop investing at the bank you work at, Charles. You know that what goes around comes around, right? Huh? What on earth? Who are you? What do you want with me? What the heck are you talking about? What about my bank? Nice to talk to you again, Charles. It's me, Max, Daisy's younger brother. It was really nice to finally meet you the other day. It was a very enlightening conversation for me, actually. I learned so much more about you. By the way, if you want me to continue on investing in your bank, you better cooperate with me. But I have a feeling you won't. If I had an employee like you in my workplace, I'd make you quit. What on earth are you talking about? What investments are you even referring to? You need to explain yourself this instant. I told your boss about how you were talking to people and boasting about your elite banker status. It felt really good doing that, actually. I also sent a screenshot of the abusive conversation that you were having with my sister. Now, people will really see what you're like outside of the office. Okay, now. Just hold on a minute there. Let me get this straight, alright? Are you talking about my bank and the investments that are being put into it? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Do you really think it's polite for you to turn around and use the manners that you have towards me? I'm an investor, after all. No, that's not what this is like. This must be some sort of coincidence that you're investing into my bank. There's so many around. Well, you're right in that, but I thought I'd invest in your bank because it's so big. I don't think that's much of a coincidence, Charles. Okay, so I just got a call from my boss. Is this all related in some way? What on earth is going on here? Are you trying to sabotage me? Well... I guess you'll find out what's going on soon enough, right? <laughs> you'll know your fate soon enough. Oh my goodness! I just wanted to formally apologize for the words that I've used towards you, sir. I had no clue you were investing in the bank I work at. Well, I guess I was hiding that little fact from you then. <laughs> you know, talking to you gave me a strange vibe. I was surprised that you couldn't see through something so easy to understand and adapt a new way of speaking to people you don't know. I suppose I should have known better to trust a banker like you when it came to my money. But it's too late, I guess. How about you just cancel your investment plan with my bank so that we don't have to interact anymore and I won't get into any more trouble? Please, just cut me some slack just this one time. I will leave your entire family alone from now on. Ah, you know I'm alright where I am. I don't want to stop my investment plan at the bank. I'm expecting some high returns on what I get back. Huh? You are? No way, really? Is that so? Well, if that's the case... I guess my bank is doing something right. I suppose that's great for you. Glad to hear it. Instead, I think that some conditions should be set up so that Nothing like the way you've been treating people happens again. 
if you get yourself fired, then I'll keep investing my money, and then I'll be able to help out my sister. Excuse me? What are you talking about? You want me fired from the bank? What's my job got to do with any of this? If you don't do that, I won't be able to invest my money with a lot of confidence. If an employee of an investment company starts doing something problematic, then we'll all be in trouble. And that's not fair, is it, Charles? The thing that makes the situation dangerous needs to be removed. So, is that why you've told my boss to fire me after the way I've treated your sister? But she was the one who lied to me about you, though. But, um, could you just please reconsider this somehow? I worked really hard to get to the position that I'm in at the bank. Well, that's something that I never knew about you, Charles. Well, I've worked really hard to be a successful investor. Don't you think you're taking this too far? Don't you see how horrible this would be for me if I lose my job? It'll affect my status in society. You can't just decide someone's future based on your own opinion. That's not fair at all. You can't do this. I'm sorry, but are you telling me to not use the power I've obtained in the position I'm in? You're contradicting basically what you did to my family. You've insulted me behind my back and also hurt my sister's feelings. Aren't you prepared to face the consequences of it? <laughs> no, I wasn't prepared for any of this. I thought that you weren't who I thought you were, and it was just a misunderstanding. Yeah, but you insulted someone without even thinking about it, okay? You really need to stop doing that to people, Charles. If you want to succeed in society, you can't just say whatever you like and not take the consequences for it. That's not how it works. What is it with you? I didn't mean to say what I did about you. I just had no idea who you were. So what's wrong with what I said? I'm a great guy, okay? Yeah, sure you are, Charles. But I think we all know that I'm the better man in this situation. So you need to listen to me right now. You're being so unreasonable. I can't just listen to you. You've been hiding who you truly are. Hey, this is just how our society is. Are you an elite or not? I thought that you were knowledgeable about our society. Am I wrong about that? You were talking pretty proudly about your position to my sister, weren't you? You said that if you're a lower rank, you've got no choice but to listen to what I say. What? But I... I didn't mean to say it like that. I had no idea who you were when she was talking about you. She didn't give me all the details. Don't start putting the blame on her, Charles. You've been talking badly to us and about us the entire time. Don't even try and deny it. I've got no intention of changing my mind about this. You'll see how things will conclude soon enough. Well then, I'll be going now. Goodbye. Hey, no! You can't do this to me! Please, wait! We need to discuss this more. You can't just say your part and leave. Hey, Daisy, you're making this way more difficult than it actually should be. Is Max still with you? Please, could you persuade him about something? What do you want now, Charles? Haven't you annoyed us enough? Why would I want to persuade Max into doing anything? He's trying to do the right thing. Look, all I want is to go back to my high wage salary, all right? I just want a rich and luxurious life with you. Is that so much to ask? 
No, I'm not getting together with someone who treats other people like they're nothing. You've done enough, and we're not going to help you with anything. All I want now is some peace and quiet, and you're ruining that. I don't want to speak to you ever again. Don't contact me. What you should have done is actually tried to get along with the person you thought was unemployed in the first place, okay? <laughs> After ending that conversation with Charles, Daisy ended up blocking him so that he couldn't contact her. She never wanted to hear from him ever again. According to her brother Max, Charles got fired from the bank. He tried to apologize over and over again. His work attitude was also terrible from the very beginning. People very much had enough of him. It also seems that his arrogant attitude was causing huge problems for the company anyways. With consideration when it came to how he treated Daisy and Max, the decision to fire him was not reversed. He didn't want his pride getting hurt from being unemployed. So even now, he hasn't moved back home and is looking for a new job. He's determined not to lower his standard of living and he's working multiple part-time jobs. But then he got ill and wasn't earning much. He has to live with what he did, so let's hope he'll become a fine member of society in the future.